Now, while it's not advised moving outside right now because the heat in Delhi is absolutely unbearable, but again, sometimes you have to move out, you don't have a choice. But you don't realize when you're moving out, your phone is also moving out with you. So, what kind of toll is it taking on your phone, the heat, the temperature? Because each of these phones are from different price categories, but they come with a specific cooling technology inside it. So, in this little experiment, I'm going to show you how the cooling works in your phone, whether it is efficient or not, because we'll be running different experiments on it to see whether the Delhi heat can actually take a toll on these phones. Let's find out. So the three phones that we have decided for the shootout are the Realme GT60 that has been launched in India at 26999, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, uh, which is approximately 2 lakh rupees. And then there is the OnePlus 12 that comes around 60 to 70,000 in India. Now, all three phones have dedicated cooling technology inside of them, which effectively controls the temperature inside the phone so that it doesn't overheat. But are these really useful? Do they really work? And in such heat, does it actually help control the drop in the percentage of the battery of your smartphones? Let's try to find the truth. So Delhi NCR is right now scorching with maximum temperatures reaching 52.9 degrees Celsius. And today it's 45 degrees. I mean, let alone smartphones, humans are burning out there. The first experiment that we will try is the 4K video recording. We will have 10 minutes of recording in 4K 30fps on all of these phones. But before starting, let's first record the temperature of the three phones and also the battery level. So after 10 minutes of recording, we test the temperature of the phones. Right after stopping the recording, we measured the temperature and all three were in the alarming zone and we could not register any temperature because it was just too hot. But the iPhone is made out of premium titanium body and uses metal efficiently. The OnePlus and the Realme use both glass and metal. I'm surprised that the Realme GT's 5500mAh battery didn't even drop 1% with 10 minutes of 4K recording. On the other hand, the iPhone saw a 2% and the OnePlus saw a 4% drop in their battery. We gave the phones a 5 minute cooldown time and then recorded the temperature. After 20 minutes overall, the iPhone and the OnePlus temperature was still hot in the red zone. And right there, the GT's vapor chamber cooling system helped the phone temperature come down to 42.7 degrees. And I think that is really impressive. So the winner of this round is the Realme GT60. The next test is something that we will also do outside. I mean, I wouldn't want her to stand right under the sun and do this test, so I found some shade under a tree. Yeah, I've seen this culture in India where uh, regardless of the fact how hot it would be outside, there would be people under a tree in their cars or maybe even in, in the auto playing games on their phones. And this segment is dedicated to these people. What I'm going to do, I'm outside in this heat, almost 44, 45 degrees. I'll play BGMI on these three phones to check what kind of heating we can record on these three devices and whether they can actually take it. Let's go. But for this test, which is a gaming test, I cannot game on three phones at the same time. So I thought of troubling my team. Do you know who नहीं यार पता नहीं 45 डिग्री टेंपरेचर हो रहा है पता नहीं क्यों बुला लिया यार चलो पूछते हैं क्या बात है आ, क्या हुआ सारस क्या हो गया भाई क्या हो गया क्यों बुला लिया यार गेम खेल रहा है यार सीरियसली सीरियसली गेम खेल रहा है इतनी गर्मी में before we start the game, we will record the temperature of all the three devices. And yes, we will also show you what the battery percentage is of all three phones. And now, let's begin the BGMI round. 10 minutes of gaming outside in the heat. We just want to tell you that all three phones have the same graphic settings and the battery is also set in normal mode. However, the Realme GT and the OnePlus 12 come with high performance mode inside of them. So after 10 minutes of gaming, we saw the temperature 
of all three devices. Where the iPhone and the Realme were still in the red zone, the OnePlus 12 kind of won. The OnePlus 12 was really efficient in the gaming department and also maintain the temperature. In the battery department, all three phones saw 3 to 4 percentage of drop in their battery. We waited for the phones to cool down for 5 minutes and then recorded the temperature in all three devices. The iPhone and the OnePlus had 42 degrees temperature and maintaining the same, but the Realme 60 still was in the red zone. That kind of shows that the battery temperature of the Realme is still in the hot zone after gaming. The winner of this round is the OnePlus 12. I don't know whether you people have noticed, but whenever you're connected to your Android Auto or CarPlay, your phone heats up, especially in this heat. So in this third experiment, what we are going to do, we are going to drive the car around by connecting each of the phones to the Android CarPlay or Auto and see how much the temperature rises on the phone. Before we start the third test, let's just record the temperature of the three phones. And yes, the battery percentage as well. I understand the temperature in Delhi is so hot that we had to run the AC in the car and we kept the temperature up to 27 degrees so that we were at least able to drive because it's just too hot. All three phones had the starting temperature quite the same. After 10 minutes using each phone, we recorded the temperature on them and noticed that the iPhone and the Realme temperatures did not rise a lot. While the OnePlus on the other hand saw a 4% degree rise. So if any of the OnePlus 12 users are watching this video, do let us know in the comment section whether the same happens with your OnePlus 12. The iPhone 15 Pro Max did not see any battery drop in terms of percentage. The Realme GT on the other hand saw a 1% drop. The OnePlus 12 saw a 2% drop. So the winner of this round, I would say, are both the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the Realme GT 60. It's been a long day outside and we are finally inside now, taking a look at how charging affects the phone. So this is a charging test. We have a 30 watt PD charger, a three phone support type C. Now, uh, it's clear that charging does heat up the phone, but how much is the temperature rising is something that we'll find out. The fourth and the final round is the battery charging round. Before we start charging the devices, we record the temperature on all of the three devices and also their battery percentage. After the charging, we recorded that the iPhone 15 Pro Max charging was quite fast and in the 10 minutes, we saw 6% of increase, while both the Realme GT and the OnePlus saw more than 10% increase in their battery capacity, which is great. Even the temperature was kind of maintained, so I think the temperature control in both these devices is quite nice. We would also like to highlight that both the Realme and the OnePlus come with 100 and 120 watt fast charge support, which is great if you have a compatible charger. So the winner of this round is the Realme GT. However, we would also like to give points to the iPhone purely because it's been able to maintain the temperature and also because it provides longevity in terms of battery health. So we have the results now and I hope that you feel more educated about how cooling technology works in a smartphone. Again, reiterating that these are phones from different price segments and there's the iPhone 15 Pro Max, uh, uber expensive and there's the Realme GT60. So, I mean, there is cooling technology in each of these smartphones, but they work differently. However, we just wanted to show you how the technology works, how it affects when you're recording a video, when you're playing a game out in the heat or even just using the phone normally. Please do not try to use the phone outside, avoid it as much as possible, especially in this heat. With this experiment, we wanted to show you how much the phone heats up and how much the technology in the phone helps it cool down. Hopefully you like the idea. Let us know in the comment section if uh, we should create more videos like these, more entertaining videos for you. And again, for everything tech, stay tuned to Fiber.